morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Pastor Callie and Pastor Chris. Hey. So happy to be with you today. The Lord bless you. We're excited about this beautiful, what's the date today? April 29th. 29th. Yes. So today and tomorrow, two more days in this month, and then we go May 1st, all the way through May, all the way through June, every day. That's what the Lord has instructed me, 90 days of praying every day. And then we're going to go into a Monday, Wednesday, Friday mode. So I'm so excited to have you here this morning. The Lord is doing amazing things in our midst. Uh, before we get started, I just we're going to pray for um, healing. Healing is our focus today. And let me just say that last night or yesterday afternoon, I got several testimonies. One of the ladies who got prayer on here was waiting on a pathology report, and she sent me a, t a message last night that it came back perfect. Uh -huh. uh, there have been multiple people healed in the last few days just yes. as we were praying for other things. So I expect God, Miss Linda, my Pastor Linda, one of uh, the amazing women, uh, part of our church, she's an amazing saint of God. In fact, her great niece prayed with me yesterday. Pastor Linda Walker sent me a uh, message this morning, and she saw many people getting healed today, many people getting uh, complete uh, works, of miracles. Um, God's going to do something special. So I want you to expect the Lord, expect Him to yes, move. He yes. is going to heal. He's going to heal your body. He's going to heal your soul. He's going to heal our nation. He is going to move in healing today. This is a day of healing. This is why I've invited uh, Miss Chris. Miss Chris has walked in healing. She's an amazing woman of God herself. She's one of our pastors at the church. Um, I love her so much. And so first of all, I want us to take communion today. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to start with what Jesus did. And I want you to get your cracker or whatever you have that represents his body. Lord, we just get your elements ready. And I would really like to encourage you to come into these sessions with your with your uh, communion ready. <clears throat> just have your communion ready. Lord, I just remember what yes. you did on Calvary. Yes, thank you, Father. I remember I remember what you did. I remember the sacrifice you made. I remember the blood that you shed. I remember your body being torn and beaten and and the stripes on your back yes. and the and the spears in your side and the crown on your head and the, the thorns that were pressed into your brow. I, I remember that you walking down that walking up that hill, Lord, with the, with the, with the cross on your back and, and you could barely even move. And God, you carried our sorrows. You carried our pain. God, your, your body was broken so that we could be healed so that we, you took stripes so that we could be healed. And Lord, I just, first of all, I dedicate this 30 minute prayer cast to you. We can do nothing outside of you, Jesus. We can do nothing outside of you. You are the center of our yes. world. Yes. You are the center of my life. You are the breath in my lungs. You are the hope in my heart. You are the destiny of my life. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. God, you are great and mighty, and you do great exploits. And we thank you, Lord, that you have healed Pastor Mark Wallace. And like you have raised him up by the power of the Holy Ghost, your healing power, Lord, Flow, flows. It flows across America. And as we pray, God, it, it came into his into his hospital room and you healed him. Lord, we prayed with thousands of others and you healed him. And just like you healed him and you're completely restoring him, you are going to heal hundreds and thousands today. Thousands will be healed when they see this. Thousands will be healed when they hear uh, your spirit, when they hear your voice as we are crying out to you, God, they will hear your voice. I've had so many of you say that when you got off these calls, that all of a sudden you heard the voice of the Lord, or you found yourself on the floor and you had supernatural experiences with God, because you're not going to just hear Pastor Callie. You're not just going to hear... <coughs> Pastor Chris, but you're going to hear the voice of the Lord. You're going to hear the healing voice of the Lord in your ear. And God, we just thank you for your healing. It is flowing across America. And Lord, we take your body this morning. We take your body in remembrance 
of what you did on Calvary. And that blood is still flowing, Lord. And that, that blood is still flowing today, God. And it's healing everyone on this prayer cast in Jesus' name. It's healing everyone. We take your blood, Lord. We remember the blood that poured out of your body. We remember, God, the blood that poured out of your body. And God, it was, it was, it, it saved us. It delivered us. It, it redeemed us. It didn't just push our sins away. It healed us. We take it, Lord, in remembrance of you. This is the most expensive meal I'll ever take in my life. We remember, God, what you did on Calvary. And we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your healing power. I just want to say to you, as of yesterday, and um, and I'm trying to, I, I'm always speaking exactly what I what the Lord is doing. I don't try to embellish at all. But as of yesterday, um, and I looked at the numbers this morning, we had 7,900 people that were on our <coughs> cast, and they actually clicked on it and they listened to whether a part of it or all of it, many of them listened to all of it because of the message we, messages we got. But we had almost 8,000 people pray with us yesterday. And that is a miracle and that is amazing. But I want to encourage you. This is a mandate. This is not just a cute idea. This was a mandate. And the Lord told me the other day, and I'm going to keep saying this every day. And by the way, I want, to, I want you to mark a couple of things. Friday morning... May 1st, uh, I'm going to be broadcasting. I've got Jenny Donnelly coming on, and uh, she's got a word from the Lord. Uh, I'll have Karen coming on. She's got a word from the Lord. Pastor Cindy will probably be coming on with a word. Uh, she's going to reiterate the, the dream that she, God gave her, and I'll have a word from the Lord. And we're going to we're going to just hear from the Lord on Friday morning. So I want you to invite as many people as you can to be with us on Friday morning. And then Friday night, Pastor Cindy and Todd and me and Pastor Bob and Pastor Donnie and Jessica Robbins are going to be broadcasting from 9 to 11 Central Standard Time. It's going to be music, prayer, and prophetic. So we'll have a broadcast, our normal broadcast Friday morning, and then we'll have a cast, a prayer cast that night. And um, God is calling us to a time of prayer and um, to a season of prayer until the third great awakening bust wide open over America. Yeah. So I want to say this again before we start talking and, and praying about healing. Because the Lord told me to write the vision, make it plain. Yeah. He told me to, to make sure and, and God, to, that you understand the mandate and the call of God on your life. You're, you, you are called by God. He said, make it clear, yes. Callie, make it clear, make it clear. Yes. Uh, he wants you to understand that this is a call, a mandate from the Lord. Yes. You are called, you are mandated from the Lord. You have been marked with a mark. You have been, list, been enlisted into a prayer prophetic army, a, a, a literal prophetic prayer army. You are to pray, but you're not just praying prayers. You're not just saying words. You're praying prophetic prayers that have the power to change a nation. You're praying rhema prayers. You're praying prophetic prayers, prayer, prayers that create heaven on earth. You are praying prayers that Christ is being built inside of us through prayers we pray because we're going to pray the will, purpose, and plan of yes. the Father. There are 10,000 mothers in Zion. When the Lord first spoke to us to have these prayer meetings, we were doing this primarily for the church, for our local church, and for our local community. And a few days into this prayer cast, the Lord said, I want you to, I want you to invite a thousand women to pray. And so he said, there's a thousand mothers in Zion. So I did just what he said. And then within weeks of that, before the end of this month, he said, I want you to call 10,000 mothers in Zion. There's 10,000 and he called them prophetic 
he said, these are prayer evangelists, prophetic prayer evangelists. And I said, Lord, why didn't you tell me 10,000 at the first? He said, you did not have the faith for 10,000. You had the faith for 1,000. And that shows you that God knows where your faith is. And many times he will start with what he knows you can believe him for, and he will increase your faith. And then once he told me that, he said, call for them. I said, why mothers in Zion? He took me to Deborah. And he showed me that she was a praying woman. She was a prophetic woman. She was a leader and an influencer. She had military ability. She literally went into battle with Barak and helped him. She was the prophetic voice that spoke life over him so that they could defeat the army. But she did not refer to herself as an influencer. She did not refer to herself as a prophet. Uh, or she referred to herself as a mother in Zion. God said, I love the mother's heart that I'm drawn to the sacrifice of a mother. I'm drawn to the, to the heart of a mother. I am going to use mothers in Zion. I am going to raise up 10,000 prayer, prophetic evangelists, prophetic prayer evangelists. You are an evangelist. What does an evangelist do? An evangelist converts. An evangelist goes into a city and preaches the gospel and converts people from from the old way of living into a new way of living. You are called to be a catalyst, a game changer. And God said, this is a call. This is a mandate. I have marked you. I have enlisted you into a prophetic prayer army. You are called and anointed in Jesus name. And I want to keep that in front of you. That is very, the Lord said, it's very important that you keep that in front of them. Um, Hold on a second. Let me pull this up. We are praying today for healing. And I, I'm just telling you, God is going to heal yes. supernaturally yes. today. Everything, everyone that needs to be healed, every child that needs to be healed, not just physically, physically, yes. spiritually, financially, emotionally, yes. but spiritually most important. Because the Bible says, as your soul prospers, so does everything else. So before we get started... Um, I'm just going to read this one scripture to start. I want to start with Jeremiah 17 and 4. And this is what I want to read. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. You are the one I praise. You are my praise. You are the one I praise. Heal me, O Lord and I will be healed. God, we ask you to heal us. Yes. We ask yes. you to heal us spirit, soul, and body. Yes. And if when you heal me, I'm completely healed. Yes. Save me, and I will be saved. Save me from myself. Save me from my flesh. Save me from any generational curse. Yes. We break yes. it in the name of Jesus. Save me from any habit, any nasty habit that is derailing us, God, or causing yes. us not to receive the full um, reward, the fullness of your plan and your destiny. Because, God, when you heal us and you save us, we are saved in the name of Jesus. I'm going to let Miss, Miss Chris minister now by the Holy Ghost, whatever she has, in Jesus' name. I'll hold it for you All right. if I want to. All right. So uh, for those of you that don't know me, um, I walked through 10 years of, of illness, and I ended up with being diagnosed with four different chronic illnesses. Um, it took four years to get there. So whenever I tell you I've walked through sickness, for those of you that don't know me, um, it took four years. So the emotional and the mental abuse that comes with and that you would put on yourself abuse with sickness, I completely get it. Yes. Um, so for four years I was sick, but they didn't know why. So I became a hermit because so many people just thought I was a hypochondriac. So that was one label I had to knock off. So I really wanted a diagnosis just to prove those people wrong. But then whenever I finally got that diagnosis, then I had all these other labels put on me that I absolutely just, you know, it, it's, it's a mental battle constantly when you're sick. And I completely get that. I 100% get that. And so it was a journey. And most of the time, um, I didn't make A's walking as a Christian through illness. Let me just tell you that. There were lots of times where I made C's, D's, and F's. 
okay? It's not easy when you are walking through it. But by the time before I was healed, I came to this place where I just wanted Jesus so badly. Yeah. I just wanted him formed in my heart. I wanted my children serving him. I wanted all these things that I told him. I just, it doesn't yes. matter at this yes. point. I just want you. If I walk my life through this, that's fine. Now, mind you, one of the things could have killed me. Okay. One of the illnesses could have killed me. And, um, so there was also that on my mind, but all I wanted was him to be formed in me. And whenever I finally got to that point, when it really wasn't about the benefits, because a lot of times we want the benefits when we really, if we just want Jesus, then the benefits are already there yes, for us. Yes. So first of all, I want to tell you, I understand the mental battle that's going through your yeah. mind. If you yourself is sick, if you're praying for somebody else who's sick, I understand because I watch my husband and my family live through that. I understand understand what that's like to watch somebody in sickness. So, but we're here this morning to tell you that Jesus is the healer. Yes. See, when we took communion this morning yes. and we held up that cracker, he took stripes on his back and he did it with joy. Yes. He took stripes on his back with joy so that we could be healed. Yes. See, it is a benefit for us as it is who he is. He is our healer. And that was the other thing. I came to the place where I knew God was good and I knew he was my healer. And those two things, regardless if I ever saw the manifestation of it, I knew was true truth because that is what is true. Yes. And so this morning, and it was actually Pastor Callie who prayed for me whenever I got healed. So this morning we walk in authority over yes. sickness and illness. And so more than anything, I want to pray um, for every potential thing that, that y'all are dealing with today. Um, and a lot of it and mental, including emotional, including because it is so hard. I would go through cycles of depression because that just was part of what you had, uh, with all the different things that I had was depression. So we want to pray against that. God is our healer of depression yes, as yes. much as he is of cancer. Yes. So this morning, no matter what it is that you're walking through, we are going to pray yes. and we are going to pray for those things to just go. Yes. They're going to go. God is aligning our hearts with him. Yes. Yes. He's aligning his body. Yes. And honestly, you don't have time and to have to deal with sickness in the middle of this. God is aligning his bride. And his bride is going to be whole and healed. Yeah. Physically, emotionally, mentally, yes. spiritually. It's time for healing to come into the body of Christ. It's time for your testimony to be that God healed me so that you can go out and that you can t lay hands on other people and that yes. they can be healed. It is time. We are walking into a new season. And as I, we were sitting here praying, Holy Spirit told me that this is, is a new season even for me. I've been <laughs> wanting to pray for people and see healing. And, you know, I see spurts of it. But we're all going to begin to walk in what God has for us. There is a healing anointing, as yes. Chris prays, there is a healing anointing that is in this room so thick yes. I could cut it. And I'm telling you, God is going to heal you. She's going to pray by the Holy Ghost if you're dealing with cancer, if you're dealing with depression, if you're dealing with any kind of autoimmune disease, if you're dealing with any kind of sickness, God is healing. This is the day of healing. And he's healing your family. Uh, you call out the names. You pray the names in your living room. You call them out. You have power with God. You are anointed to pray for the sick and they will be healed and the and the and the and the mandate of this whole prayer cast and and what we're doing is to teach you you are called you are anointed you 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 have power with god when you pray god hears you he loves you and he moves by the power of the holy ghost and as she prays many of hundreds and hundreds will be healed today chris pray by the holy ghost all right now get in a position i want you physically to put yourself in a position to receive Right now, yes. Father, we just yes. thank you, Lord God. Yes. We pray for every sickness concerning yes. the head, Father. Right yes. now, we come against Lord. depression. Yes, we break Lord. it off right now in yes, the name of Lord. Jesus, Lord yes. God. We speak to any tumors right yes. now in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we tell it to go yes. right now in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. We pray for every neurological condition right yes, now in the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord. Yes. And we, <coughs> we thank you, Lord God, that by your stripes, Lord God, they are healed. They yes. are healed. Yes. They are healed. Yes. <coughs> they won't, will be. They are right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. We speak to eyes, ears, and mouth, and noses right now yes, in the name of Lord. Jesus, Lord. The sinuses open right now in the yes, name of Jesus, Lord. Lord. We yes, just declare Lord. complete and total healing right now. Yes, We Lord. speak to throats right now in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, right now. Yes. Lord, the throats are being healed of cancer right now in the name yes. of Jesus, Lord. 
right now, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for thyroid, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that functioning thyroids right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just declare that right now, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for lungs right now, Father God, that are being cleared and healed right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We speak to anyone out there with COVID right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we just tell that COVID to go right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we speak to lungs, Lord, to people who have had operations and and their lungs, Father, have been taken out. We speak for new lungs right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God. New lungs. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that the body of Christ is stepping into a season that we're going to see healing, Father God, from a level of there's going to be new organs, Father, in the name of Jesus that are going to be given. We speak to hearts. We speak to heart conditions right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to plaque right now in the name of Jesus, and we tell it to go. We speak to hearts that are only functioning at 10, 20, 30 percent, and we say 100 percent right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Father. We speak to intestinal issues right now, Father. We just thank you, Lord. God, Lord, that you are healing yes. them right now, Father. Yes, Lord. Full function of the intestines right yes, now in the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we speak to people, Lord God, who have had intestines removed, yes, and we thank you, Lord God, that you are giving yes, them new Lord. intestines. Yes, You're growing Lord. them back, Father, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. Right now, Amen. we speak to reproductive organs yes. right now in the name of yes. Jesus, and we just declare they yes. are whole and healed right yes. now in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord. We pray for every woman and every mother out there who is carrying a child, Lord yes. God, and we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for a perfect birth, Father. God, we thank you for perfect children, Lord Lord. God. Lord, we speak to any any word that's been spoken over any child in a womb, Father. We we come against any anything, Lord God, that's been spoken uh, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, and we just thank you, Lord, that babies are going to come out whole and healed, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray for limbs right now, Father. We pray for arthritis, and we tell it to go right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for fibromyalgia right now, and we tell it to go right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just thank you, and we declare complete and total healing, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, If you are, if you're struggling to get pregnant, I want you to lay hands on your womb. If you're a young woman and you're trying to get pregnant and you have not been able to get pregnant, you're going to get pregnant. So I want you to lay hands on your stomach and command your womb. In the name of Jesus, I command your womb and your body to operate perfectly and your husband's body to operate perfectly and you will get pregnant and you will have a beautiful, beautiful baby and that baby will be the light of your life uh, other than Jesus. It will be a reflection of Jesus. It it will remind you of Jesus every day you look at it because it will come through the power of the Holy Ghost. God is healing your wombs. God is healing your wombs. You will be pregnant and you will be pregnant soon with a healthy baby and you will deliver this baby with no problems in the name of Jesus. Also, these women, by the power of the Holy Ghost, these mothers in Zion are about to birth. God is healing our spiritual wombs. He is healing our spiritual wombs and we are going to birth the greatest revival known to man. We are going to birth a prayer revival. We are going to birth prayer across this nation. God, you're going to help us carry this to full term and birth prayer and fire will fall from heaven and it will hit the houses of worship and it will hit the homes and our homes will burn with prayer fire. Our our homes will burn with healing and deliverance. Our homes will be healed spiritually. God, you're not only healing us physically, but you're healing us spiritually by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on and pray some more, Chris. I I pray right now for kidneys and and urinary tracts right now in the name of Jesus. We declare healing. We speak to cancer. We tell it to go right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we pray right now, Lord God, Lord, for for legs. We pray for neuropathy right now in the name of Jesus. We just tell it to be healed yes, right now, Lord. Father, right now. Yes, we speak Lord. to generalized pain, yes. and we tell it to go right now yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, we just thank you, Lord God. Lord, you care about every single minute yes. detail of our life, Father. Yes, every discomfort, every pain, yes, Father God. Lord. You care about it, Lord, and we just thank you for that right now. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Every foot condition, every hand condition. Right now, Lord God. Lord, we just thank you right now. Right now in Jesus' name. And I just want to encourage everyone that as they are walking through their day, just continue to confess. I literally felt that my sicknesses just leap off of me. They just 
they were gone. And I went to my husband because one of the things that I had wrong with me was I, I, all my strength in my body was gone. And I, I, I reached out and I grabbed his hand and I said, do you feel that? That strength. I want you to begin today to find the things yeah. that, that you can determine that is healing and the things that the symptoms that are still there, just begin to rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them. Cause I didn't go symptom free. Symptoms kept trying to come back on me and I would just rebuke them. I literally spent six months rebuking symptoms and they were, and finally, you know, they're gone, they're gone, but you know, the enemy's the enemy. And so yeah, just continue. No, he doesn't play fair. So just continue to declare it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to read this scripture, and I know, know you've heard it a hundred times. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, yes. then I will hear from heaven, yes. will forgive their sin, and yes. heal their land. You're healing us physically. Yes. You're healing our land. You're healing our. Yes. You're healing the heart and soul of America. Now my eyes will be open and my ears will be attentive to the prayer made in this place. For I have chosen and sanctified this house, and my name may be there and and my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetual will be there perpetually i'm telling you god is sanctifying your house and his name will be there on your house forever and he has sanctified you perpetually there is going to be such fruit come from your legacy and your family because of your decision to pray and to call forth 10,000 mothers in Zion, 10,000 prophetic prayer evangelists. I want to read a couple of more scriptures. Jeremiah 30 and 17. But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds. Yes. Jeremiah 33 and 6. I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and let them enjoy abundant peace. I declare we will enjoy yes. abundant peace. Yes. Third John 1 and 2. I, I pray that you may be in good health and that all you do uh, and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. And one, one says, it, even as your soul prospers. So God is calling us into a place of healing and wholeness. And our body is going to line up with our spirit in the name of Jesus. I want to read yes. April 29th in Letters from God. And I love this. It's Philippians 3 and 14. It says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize. Girls, we're going to press on. Yes. We're, going to, we're going to stay faithful. I press on toward the goal to win the prize to which God in Christ Jesus has called me to. Um, and I want to read this. This is the prophetic prayer that, that Ivan wrote. The treasure of life cannot be found casually. It must be searched for with passion and determination. It must be pursued with a holy fury. That's why we're an army, girls. Yes. It must be pursued with a holy fury. Counting the pleasures and the false treasures of the world as worthless is the only acceptable mindset for you. Anything in this world is worthless. Jesus is what counts. Yes. His yes. power, his presence, his anointing, Christ being formed in us. There is a prize more priceless than all others. So valuable that thousands of seekers have, have given their lives for it. The prize I'm speaking of is already seeking you. It is wanting for you. It is waiting for you and it will complete you. Press hard toward this prize. Yeah. Value it more than you value your own life and you will find it. If you search for it with every fiber of your being, it will present itself to you. Take the restraints off your seeking. Throw yourself into it completely. Be radical. The world is radical about what they believe. Yeah. The, uh, sinners are radical about sin. Be radical for Jesus. 
Throw yourself into it completely, for it is worth the effort. No amount of sacrifice or loss of other things can be considered. This is what you've been searching for your whole life, the prize of life, me and only me. Remember how this works. You run to me, I run to you. It shortens the distance between us quickly. Love me, I love you. It is in your hands to decide the life you live. Take action and live. And I declare you are healed by the power of Jesus. Right yes. now, the power of Jesus is flowing into your living room or wherever you're at, and he is healing you completely. Many of you are going to have major manifestations of healing this week. This is a week where God is going to heal you. This is a day within the next 24 hours that you're going to feel the, the healing power, the healing balm of Gilead is being released to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I call forth 10,000 prayer evangelists. I call forth 10,000 prayer, prophetic prayer evangelists. I call forth women that are hot, full of the Holy Ghost, hot with, hot with the fire of the Holy Ghost. They are burning with Jesus on the inside. They're praying morning, noon, and night. They're laying hands on the sick. God, they're, they're converting uh, everyone around them to a life of prayer and consecration. We call forth 10,000 prayer evangelists in America, Lord. We call forth America on fire for God and healed and delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost. I love you so much. Uh, if you have a prayer request, you, it's now you can submit it. But I want to encourage you, ladies. Uh, the whole goal, the whole point of this is that we are modeling and teaching you. We are equipping you. You are becoming powerful prayer evangelists. When you put your need out, pray the answer. Yes. Pray the scripture. Yes. We're praying with you. But you have the power of God inside. Pray the answer on this prayer cast. Pray the scripture and watch God wrought, wrought miracles even in your life. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you.